stoichiometry. So we did problems like this where we saw the solution to the mm's or milliliters of another solution. So now we're going to look we can use molarity in combination with all the other things that we've learned such as the gas law problems and uh, put it all together. So in this problem, the first question here, <coughs> we're given this equation. It says at STP, which is standard temperature and pressure, how many liters of nitrogen dioxide gas are required to produce 0.275 liters of a 0.4 molar nitric acid solution? So we have in this problem the given values. We have the liters of the solution. We have the molarity. I'm going to write those things down. So we have 0 0.275 liters of the nitric acid solution. That's this one. So this is the volume. And um, so we also have the molarity of that solution, 0 0.4 molar HNO3. Now we're trying to find the volume of NO2 gas. So our unknown is the volume of NO2, and that's a gas that is not aqueous. Now, one of the most confusing things is we previously just looked at examples where we found the volume of one substance from the volume of another. So for instance, the last problem that we completed was this one, where we had milliliters of one substance in the reaction, and we figure out the milliliters of another substance. And so in that problem, we were dealing with we were dealing with aqueous solutions. And so in both cases, we use molarity to go from moles to liters, um, both to convert to moles to convert out of moles. But in this problem, notice that we're starting with the volume of one thing, but the volume of the other thing, the product that we're trying to find, um, or the NO2 actually, it's not a product, the reactant, this volume is not the volume of a solution, but of a gas. So that's going to change altogether the ending steps here. Let's map out our steps to solving this. So we know that we're starting with the volume of this. We'll use molarity as a conversion factor. So 0 0.400 moles of the nitric acid, one liter. So we'll start with this value so we can um, work our way towards the unknown. We have 0 0.27, I'm sorry, we're doing the map right now. Let's map it out. So we're starting with the liters of nitric acid, HNO3. And we are trying to get to the volume in liters of NO2. Now this is aqueous and NO2 is a gas. So the middle step, as we've seen already, is the mole to mole ratio or factor. And so we need to go from moles of the HNO3 to the moles of the NO2. So that step will involve the mole ratio. And that's where we look at the coefficient numbers comparing NO2 and HNO3. However, in order to use that step, 
we need to first convert to moles of HNO3. So to get from liters to moles, um, we'll be using the molarity. So this big step right here, I made too much space, is the molarity. So this thing right here we'll use for that. But the big question comes in, how then do we go from moles back to liters? Now we're dealing with the gas. Well, the answer to that is using the gas laws. We could use PV equals NRT. However, the problem said that we're dealing with an equation is at standard temperature and pressure. So since it, it's at standard temperature and pressure, at standard temperature and pressure, one mole is 22.4 liters. So we can use that instead of PRT this time, is 22.4 liters. So let's set this. Start with our given here, the 2.75 liters. We're going to use molarity to convert liters. So here of HNO, we have 0 0.400 moles. Okay, then we convert from moles of to moles of NO2. Coefficients. Two moles of this, we have NO2. Two moles of NO3. Three moles of NO2. And last, it's the uh, molar volume. One mole is 22.4 liters at standard temperature and pressure. So one mole for every NO2 for every 22.4 liters of NO2. Cross off units. <clears throat> All right, so we can calculate that and that comes out to 3.70 liters of NO2. So let's try the second problem. Using the same equation, what volume of NO nitrogen nitric oxide is produced at 100 degrees Celsius and 1.20 atm when 2.20 liters of a 1.5 molar nitric acid solution is also produced. So in this problem we have conditions given about a solution that's of the HNO solution and we're trying to find the volume of the NO that's produced. So let's list what we have. We have the volume and the molarity of the nitric acid solution. So the volume of HNO3 is 2.20 liters and the molarity of HNO3 is 1.50 molar. Now we'll use the molarity again as a conversion factor so molarity is the number of moles per liter, so we have 1.50 moles per liter. However, this time in this problem, the conditions are not at standard temperature and pressure, unlike the first problem. So these conditions here, the nitric oxide gas, the NO gas, are not the conditions of standard temperature and pressure. Therefore, we will need to use the ideal gas law, and we're going to need to consider these conditions.
So those conditions are temperature of 100 degrees Celsius, which is 370 Kelvin, the pressure of 1.20 atm, the volume given of 2.20 liters, and oops, excuse me, big mistake, volume the unknown. So watch out for that. This volume relates to the nitric acid. So volume of the, the NO is what we're trying to, that's our unknown, what volume of this. So the volume of NO, so the volume of NO, let's rewrite, the volume of NO is unknown. Now in order to find the volume, um, we're also going to need, since we have IS laws, PV equals NRT, um, we have the pressure, we have the temperature, R is a dent, R is, um, we'll write that one down as well, so R is 0 0.0821 liters times ATM over Kelvin times mole. But what we're missing here is N. we'll need or the number of moles in order to find the volume. So N is unknown, however, we can find N by using stoichiometry. So, let's do that first. We'll figure out what N is, and then we can plug it into the ideal gas law. So we can use the information here about the nitric acid. And so we have a volume of 2.20 liters. 2.20 of H. Now using the molarity, for every one HNO3, we have one mole of HNO3, and now we can use the co coefficients for every two moles of HNO3, we have one mole of NO, so for every two moles HNO3, one mole of NO, solve this, and that gives us 1.65 moles of NO. So this is that N value. That is the number of moles of NO that we can then plug into the IAS law. PV equals NRT. We plug in the N value and we have everything we need then to solve for V, the volume of the gas. So the volume then is NRT over P. Substitute the numbers. The number of moles is 1.65 multiplied by the ideal gas constant, 0 0.0821 liters times ATM over Kelvin moles the temperature, 373 Kelvin. All divided by the pressure, 1.20 atm. And so we find that the volume, after calculating that, is 42.1 liters. And so this is the volume of the NO gas that's produced when two liters of 1.5 molar nitric acid react or are produced. So along with that production, we also have produced volume.